In this video, I'm gonna give you the number one drill for the most important position in the golf swing. So here would be the ideal swing when I'm just focused and consistent and in a much better impact position. Look at that. You'll be hitting it in that tight little circle all day long. This position here at impact is by far the most and really the only important position in the golf swing right here. If we can get this right, the rest doesn't matter. Unfortunately, that is also the most difficult position to get in in the golf swing. And we're gonna fix that for you. The reason this impact position is so critical is because of what it achieves in the golf swing. See, when you're able to keep your hands ahead and maintain just a solid pro-like impact position, here's what you get. You get a square club face for the maximum amount of time, meaning that club face isn't rotating. We do not want that club face to rotate too much through the golf swing. When we're able to do that, we have a better chance that that ball will fly straight, something like that, more often. Meaning we want the least amount of curve possible. And when we have a less curve, okay, I had 11 feet of curve, that's pretty good. And the less curve we have, the better. Meaning our ball's just gonna fly straighter because that club face isn't rotating. So ultimately, we want our hands ahead of that ball slightly, and we don't want that face to flip over after impact. That would be the ideal scenario. And how do we get that if we're constantly rotating the face? Well. We wanna not rotate the face. We wanna be able to control our wrists after impact. So when we're able to do that more often better, this is what our shots are gonna look like more consistently. That one had five feet of curve here. That's what I'm looking for. Just consistency, but it's so difficult. Why do we make it so difficult? So when we're able to get a good impact position, this is what's gonna happen to your dispersion pattern here. All right, so I'm purposely just really focused on that impact position every single time as I hit these shots. And as you can see, this dispersion pattern here is pretty tight. Now let's look what happens when I let it get loose on me, meaning I'm not controlling my wrist position at impact. As you can see, when I start getting a little bit sloppy, let's say, you know, we start hitting it fat, we start fanning it out to the right, it's over here, you got one big hook, and we're getting lots of curve there, 38 feet. So what? are we doing differently and how do we control it? Now to show you the true benefit of this drill, I'm going to be using the Hack Motion Golf Sensor. These guys have been great. I would not promote a product that didn't work. I use this to get feedback so that I know what I'm doing, is it correct or is it not correct? And do I need to exaggerate the feeling more or less? whatever, this will show you exactly where your wrist positions are in your swing. And I will show you how you can use this in this drill to its maximum benefit for you so that you can improve really without even realizing it. Link below for hack motion. First, let's just see where we're at with just a normal golf swing. So let's look at that and just see where we are 
really when we just first start here. And we did a good swing, it was within range, so that was really good. Coming down into the ball, hands slightly ahead. That's not bad, but you see we get a little breakdown here and we can do better than that. And ideally we want to have a much firmer position at impact. We want this arm to get straighter. We want everything just to be extended more this direction. Here's our drill that we're going to do. I want you to take your setup with your hack motion sensor on there. And we want to take the slowest swing possible and hit the ball. So seven iron, we're talking like this. And check it on your hack motion. So I'm really only concerned about impact position. So even there, I was um, too extended. So this is extension, bending the wrist a little bit. So I need to be more in what they call flexion. So at that slow speed, you can really feel your swing. So slow it down, see if we can get a better impact position. And if you can hit the ball, there we go, that was a good one. If you can hit the ball like that in slow motion, then you are gonna really start to feel each little piece of your swing. So here's what I wanna focus on as I come into the ball, as slow as possible. And I want to feel the flexion here. That's where I want to be. Flexion is turning it this way as opposed to letting it flex up. So you want to feel a little more flexion here and you're able with that slow swing to stay down longer. And then you can really feel it. And if you can swing that slow motion swing, you'll start to dramatically improve this zone here, this is really what I call the critical zone right in here. And if that club face stays square through here, you're going to have great, great success. All right, so that was a good impact. A little too flex at the top, but I'm not even worried about the top position at the moment. But if you can get both, that's great. Let's see that one. Well, that was beautiful. All right, I'm in range. So as I do that, I want to look at my golf swing in that slow motion. So I want to record in slow motion and see what type of results I get. So let's go ahead and look at that. Look at those hands, nice, ahead of the ball. Oh, and I stay, look how long that wrist stays flat. It's flat, 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 flat. Look at that. That's exactly what we want. Compared to that previous one, look, the wrist here is bent and here it's flat. Those are the exact same frames. On the left, we can see we've got some bending of that wrist. And on the right, I hold it much, much longer. So as you get it, you want to go super slow, as slow as possible. Hold your balance. See how you did? Didn't do it. So now I gotta exaggerate a little bit more and feel it even more. That's good. So then once you get like three, four, five streaks in a row, shots in a row, then you could do, let's say a fuller swing and see if you can achieve what you're looking for. And that was pretty good at impact is where I'm primarily concerned with in this particular drill. And then if I don't get it perfect, I'm really close though. Then I back it up and I go slow again. The slower you can go, the better it will be. And that's harder. And let's see what that last one looked like on video and see if we're in a good spot. Everything's in a great position. You can see when you get it right, your swing looks really, really good. And you're able to hold in impact position much longer. The question is, how do you take this to the golf course and find great success?
Here's what I've been doing recently on the golf course. Last time I played, I hit 13 of 14 fairways. And the time before that, I think 12 of 14. And the time before that, I think it was 12 again. And ever since I started doing this drill that we just did together, that slow motion drill, and then this is what I integrate into my pre-shot routine. I just get behind the ball. It's super easy. I take one practice swing, but I take that practice swing really slow like that. Just like we did in the drill, you want to do it as slow as possible. Like my club head speed with that seven iron is probably 45 miles an hour. So I do one practice swing on the golf course like that with my driver. And then I set up to hit my drive and then I just let her rip after that. Not too bad. Nice little draw down the fairway and most importantly, my impact position with my driver. Beautiful. That will get you from flipping so much, so common with most players. Give that drill a try. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. See you in the next video.